Hey, it's me, Troy, and tonight I'm going to be making a couple announcements concerning my channel and the future direction of the channel. Hey, it's me, Troy, and tonight I'm going to be making a couple announcements concerning my channel and the future direction of the channel. And I'm going to be covering a couple of things, I'm going to be talking about a couple of things that have been going on with my channel and uh, some of my plans that's going on. Um, well, uh, so I, I've been, uh, doing these videos here on this channel for about two years now. I started in 2017, uh, before that I didn't really do a whole lot of videos, so, um, I'm relatively new to the world of YouTube, and, uh, so I'm just, uh, basically here to... I uh, share about what the Word of God says and talk about some videos. I really started picking up on videos uh, probably in 2018, and then it got even more in 2019 of this year. Um, and, you know, I've been doing a lot of videos talking about what the Bible says, uh, warning against false teachers and all that kind of stuff. Now, let me just stay, uh, say right here, right now, uh, right off the bat, that I'm not here to get likes. Uh... I get a lot of dislikes on my videos, and you know what? I don't care uh, because I'm not here to get likes. Uh, I'm here to tell you what the truth. I'm here to tell you about what the Bible says, and uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to hate the Bible. They're going to hate the truth, and they're going to persecute uh, you for your faith, and, and they persecute me for my faith, and uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's what the Bible says. Uh, the Bible says that all who live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution, uh, I'm, I've always faced persecution ever since I became a believer and, uh, and I'm still continuing to do that this day. Um, and you know, I've, I've lost my closest friends, uh, for sharing the truth. I've even had conflict with my family. And so, uh, so I don't care if I'm going to be on here on YouTube and I'm going to get a bunch of people stirred up and get a, a, a bunch of people upset at me. I'm not trying to make people upset. I'm not trying to make people mad at me. But, you know, I'm not going to try to sweet talk them into hell. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat uh, because I'm going to come on here and I'm going to tell it like it is. Um, because, you know, uh, Jesus had a lot of rejection many people rejected jesus they crucified him uh so you know uh so just because people dislike my videos that doesn't mean anything now if you want to like my videos that's fine uh, if, i i hope this is a blessing to you i hope this does encourage you and if you want to like the video that's fine if but i don't care if you dislike it or don't uh if you want to like it that's okay if you want to dislike it that's okay with me too because i don't care either way um I don't know why you would want to dislike my videos. I'm just, all I do is go and talk about what the Bible says. Uh, that's all I'm here to do. Uh, but, but like I said, I don't care because, uh, I'm just here to share the truth. <sighs> you know, I come on here and I talk a lot about false teachers. Uh, and the reason why is because they're all over the place here on YouTube. You know, I used to not make videos on here, and I would go on YouTube, and I would just see this whole hodgepodge of just false teachers teaching false doctrines, I, and I have the same problem with TV too. You know, I want to come on here, I want to hear what the Word of God says, I want godly uh, preachers and teachers with sound doctrine, and, and I want to hear the Word of God, I want to hear the Bible, but a lot of times I see, and there is a couple godly uh, channels and, and godly teachers on here, but a lot of times there's a lot of false teachers, uh, probably more false teachers if not, uh, but, but, you know, and they're always on here talking about false doctrine, justifying sin, and, uh, just saying all kinds of wicked stuff, and just all, and, and they, and they defend sin, they say once saved, always saved, and all that kind of stuff, and it's nonsense, and I don't believe in it, and it's false doctrine, and, you know, they don't have any accountability, uh, they're, they, they just uh, go on the internet and they talk about whatever they want to say, and and you know this the the purpose of this channel well, this it's not the only purpose but it's part of the reason why I'm on here 
is because uh, th these guys need to be called out. They need to have their names called out. They need to be warned about. <clears throat> you know, we have to tell the truth at all costs. Uh, when when Jesus dealt with uh, the Pharisees, he told them the truth. He he rebuked their hypocrisy. The Pharisees uh, do what these guys do today. They were uh, leading people to hell. They were uh, religious hypocrites. They were uh, they had much. They had a lot of heresy. They were leading people to uh, destruction. They, uh, you know, that they, they were putting man-made rules, man-made laws on people, and Jesus called their names out. Uh, and, and just like the apostles and the prophets, they went out and they went and and they preached. They told the truth. They and they suffered a lot of persecution. And. Uh, and and that's what truth uh, truth isn't easy to hear uh you you know you'll rebuke sin and people don't like hearing that but they need to have they need to tell the truth uh and it's just like dangerous predators in our community uh, you know if there's a dangerous predator uh that's on the loose you that they always warn about him they say that this guy's out on the loose uh, doing this or that and you need to stay away from him and avoid him and that's what I'm doing with these false teachers these false teachers are even worse than predators because uh, they're they're not killing people uh, they're they're doing something worse and they're leading them to hell it's actually worse to lead people to hell than get to, than to kill somebody I mean and and killing somebody and being a murderer is, is evil and it's wicked but these people are murderers of the soul they these people are leading people to go to hell for eternity uh, and, and can you think of anything worse than burning in hell for eternity? Um, and you know, these guys are, are claiming to be pastors and they're not qualified to be in ministry. Uh, and they're going on there and they, and they, and they do whatever they want. And you know, you know, being a pastor, being in a ministry, a ministry is not a toy. It's not for you to go out on a joy ride and do whatever you want. If you want to go into ministry, you need to meet the qualifications. And I am warning these people right now that are in ministry that they need to resign from ministry, that are teaching false doctrine and, and deceiving people that they need to resign from ministry or they're going to go to hell. And that's just plain and simple right there. And, you know, we, don't, we can't take these kind of things lightly about what these guys are doing. Uh, because there isn't anything minor about what these guys are doing. Uh, what these people are doing are very serious. A lot of these groups are a borderline cult. And that's why I have to call them out. And we have to follow the example of Jesus. And you know there's many scriptures that command us as Christians to go out and to uh, preach the truth and proclaim the truth. The Bible says that we need to be watchmen. Uh, the Bible says if we uh, fail to uh, warn the wicked to turn from their evil way then their blood will be on my hands if I don't warn you about these false doctrines then your blood will be on my hands and that's what I'm here to do you know ever since the 21st century these guys have ever since you know the internet started uh, they, these guys have made homemade videos and they've done whatever they want to do and I've already talked about that and why that's a problem the internet, the internet can be a great tool used to glorify God uh, but uh, it can also be a, a tool of the devil to deceive uh, millions of people, and that's what these guys are doing. So their their false doctrines need to be rebuked. And we can't sugarcoat this. Uh, I'm not going to come on here and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to act like it's okay that these that these people are blind uh, Pharisees and false leaders of the blind and they're leading people to destruction I care about people I don't want to see people go to hell and I'm not going to sugarcoat it I'm not going to sweet talk it the Bible says there's many that are that have itching ears and I'm not going to give you what you want to hear I'm going to tell you what you need to hear it's for your own good it's like if you have a loved one that's uh, alcoholic and you see him doing a destructive lifestyle, you would want to warn somebody about that lifestyle and why that's dangerous. You know, if you see a kid uh, running across the road, uh, you're, what are you going to do? You're going to tell the kid to get out of the way. You're going to say, get out of the way. Um, you're going to try to do everything you can to save that kid's life. Um, 
and it's just the same thing with this it's the same thing as what i'm doing right now um you know what is somebody going to tell you you're you're judgmental and being a jerk for telling a kid to get out of the way that's in the street about to get hit. I don't think so. Uh, so it's, so why is it any different than what I'm doing right now? Now, you know, if I go up and I, and I talk about, and I preach against sin and I preach against false doctrine, you know, people come up to me to say you're being judgmental and you're, uh, and you're being a jerk. Well, uh, they're not going to tell that if I try to, they're not going to say that to me if I try to save a kid running across the street, if I do that, they'll probably be calling me a hero. Uh, well, well, what's the difference? <clears throat> um, and we do this out of love and care for people's souls, not just because we want to be a jerk, not just because we want to uh, get a bunch of stuff stirred up, and that I, that's not what I'm trying to do at all. Uh, I'm just trying to preach the truth in love uh, so people can be saved. That's all I'm here to do. If you have a problem with that, you have a problem with that, you have a problem with the Word of God. And as I mentioned earlier, we know that as Christians, we will suffer persecution for this. And there is a lot of people that don't like my channel, and you know. And like I already said, many dislikes from the video, well, that's, that's good, that's fine with me. And, you know, we we suffer as Christians persecution. We got a lot of people that hate us. And, um, but, you know, the Bible says that we're the uh, filth of the world. You know, we, uh, the apostles had to suffer through all kinds of, the worst kind of persecution imaginable. They were imprisoned and beaten, killed. And uh, our, Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, as I said, was crucified. Uh, which was which is the most brutal and agonizing ways you can die. <clears throat> um, and you know, if Jesus Christ is going to get rejection, then we're going to get rejection too. Jesus said, "No uh, servant is greater than his master. If they persecute me, they'll persecute you." And you know, if we're spoken well of and we're loved by the world, then that's actually an indication that we're not saved. Uh, so if there was, if everybody was in the comments speaking well about me all the time, and I never got any criticism, I would actually think I'm doing something wrong, uh, because the Bible says that the false prophets are spoken well of. Let's look what uh, Jesus said here in Luke six twenty six. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. So Jesus said that the false prophets were spoken well of. Uh, they would always tell people what they want to hear, uh, smooth things about comforting people in their sins and chasing after their fleshly carnal dreams and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's not what I'm here to do. Uh, I'm here to do the exact opposite of that. And the truth does hurt. Uh, when you call it, when you preach against sin, when you uh, call about call call out the sins of people's lifestyles and you uh, rebuke their sins, people are going to get defensive about that. They're going to that's going to sting. That's going to uh, that's going to hit a nerve. That's that's going to step on some toes. And you know people will uh, go on there and they'll try to persecute you. Uh, but just keep on persevering for it. Don't don't listen to trolls and don't don't mind what they say. Uh, you know, I, I consider it a blessing uh, to suffer persecution. Jesus said, uh, blessed are you when you, uh, when, all, when men shall revile you and speak all manner of evil of you falsely for my sake, for those, those who are persecuted for righteousness, righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, if we do suffer persecution, that's an indication that we are saved and are, and are a child of God. Uh, and, you know, uh, so I don't I don't complain that I that I get persecution. You know I I don't get depressed. I uh, I consider it a joy and a blessing, and uh, I'm more than happy to serve the Lord. And, and you know I don't have the right to complain anyway because Christians in other countries they suffer a lot worse than what I have to go through. Uh, and there in those countries they can't even uh, live their lives uh, without being in prison for their faith. Um, and I'm just thankful and blessed that I, I live in a free country and I'm allowed to uh, speak these kinds of things. Because in other countries, I would be stoned to death. 
Another thing I want to cover is the trolls that are coming in the comments section. Uh, I get comments from trolls. Uh, I don't allow trolling um, for most of the time. Uh, th there's this, There's been a couple comments that, that have been made from trolls and uh, I haven't been able to respond to the comments or to even delete the comments because sometimes I, I can't get on there and I can't uh, do anything with a comment because YouTube doesn't allow me. I'm not really sure why. Uh, a lot of times I can control the comments, but sometimes I cannot. I don't know the reason for this, but uh, I guess it's just the way YouTube is uh, built or maybe he blocked me or something. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, but, uh, you know, these trolls, they have an obsession with me and my channel. And uh, and when you preach against their sins and rebuke their sins, they're going to uh, try to attack you. They're going to try to uh, uh, persecute you for, your, for their faith because they have their conscience uh, convicted. And uh, they know they're guilty and they, and they don't want to accept that reality. So they try to fight back. Uh, and, they, and they try to oppose uh, your work and they'll try to attack you. And they'll try to slander you. Um, but, you know, it's an obsession. Uh, you know, if you don't like my videos, you know, why do you spend so much time watching it? Uh, if you don't like my videos, then why don't you just go move on? Uh, but, you know, these people are watching all my videos and, and they just have an obsession. Uh, I mean, if you don't like the video, you don't have to watch it. Nobody's forcing you to watch it. Uh, but, you know, these people are watching my videos. They're commenting on all my stuff and they're trolls. Um... And they're a categorical troll. Now, you know, as long as you're not cussing on my uh, videos and you're not uh, starting a bunch of contention and uh, you're not spreading false teaching, uh, I don't really care what you say about me. You're pretty much to go on there and say whatever you want about me. Um, you know, uh, because, you know, I don't really care. Um... I mean, it's not something I'm going to make a big deal out of, uh, because, you know, uh, you don't have to like me. Uh, I'm not here to be your best friend. Uh, I'm not here to be your buddy. Uh, I'm here to, uh, you know, try to get you saved and get your soul saved. You don't have to, uh, like what I have to say. And, you know, you can come, you can come on there and you can, uh, you can have your opinion about me and you can talk about how, uh, you don't like me, but as long, but I, but again, keep profanity and false teaching off my channel, and as long as you do that, you're good. Um, now let me go over some of my policies on my channel. Uh, these are just a couple policies, uh, just a couple general policies to help keep things in order. Uh, I, and I'm not going to tolerate any profanity or cussing on my channel. You come on my channel with cuss words and cussing. Uh, you're going to be banned right there on the spot. No insulting. I, I don't like insults because, you know, it's not Christian. And uh, it does. it's not a productive conversation. It's rude. It causes contention. I'm not going to be tolerating no insulting on my channel. Um, maybe I'll let you get away with a couple insults of me, but you're not going to be insulting other people. Uh, and, and, you know... If you insult me, I might, I may or may not ban you. It pro ban you. It would probably be best if you didn't insult me, uh, because there's nothing productive about it. Like I already said, uh, no trolling, uh, no debates, no contention, no false teaching, uh, no promoting false teaching, no advertising false teaching. If I see any of that on the channel, you're, it's going to be banned. Do that, and you're good with me. Um, there was another issue going on. Uh, on my video I made about Chris Lasola, um, I said that I was not going to uh, advertise uh, Chris Lasola's video uh, about the audio clip between him and his uh, wife, and I was not going to put it on to my put the link on my uh, on my channel because I do not promote that kind of language. Uh, now there are some people that that have issues. They say the word hell. 
and the word damnation are not cuss words. Well, there, as a matter of fact, and one in a in a sense, they are correct. Uh, using those words are not cuss words uh, if it is in its proper context. Like if I say uh, somebody is going to hell, uh, if I say he, uh, if I talk about damnation, about how somebody uh, will get eternal damnation if they don't repent or something like that, then no, that's not a sin. Uh, and that's not cussing, but if you use those words outside of their proper context, if you use it as a word in, in, a, in a different meaning, then yes, that is a cuss word, and that is a sin. Uh, and you, they, they, they might be very minor cuss words, but it's still a sin, and, and nobody claiming to be a Christian should repeat that kind of language. Um, don't let people fool you that say, well, they're only minor. Uh, there's nothing minor about it. You know, the Bible says a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Um, the Bible says that filthy communication corrupts good uh, manners. Uh, if, if you hear this kind of language and you hear people using profanity and cussing, that can corrupt your mind. Um, and it doesn't matter how minor they, they are, they're all equally wicked. Uh, and, and, no, and nobody that claims to be a Christian should be using that vulgar language. Um, I mean, it just like... They wouldn't even let you say that kind of language in a in a secular public school. So why would I put that on my Christian channel? Uh, I have, you know, these people, secular people and atheists have even higher standards as, than these false Christians. Um, and these people are lovers of sin. These trolls, they love uh, to justify sin. If I say you need to repent, uh, they call that work salvation. If I say I don't believe in once saved, always saved. Uh, they say uh, that I'm teaching work salvation. Um, well, you know, the reality is they believe in work salvation. Uh, they don't believe that we need salvation by Jesus. They don't believe we need Christ to be our Savior. Uh, because they say that we just repeat a prayer and we're saved and we're guaranteed salvation for the rest of our lives. Well, you know, that's a work right there. Uh, because you're saying that, that, that we need to repeat a prayer uh, for our salvation. Uh, so you are teaching a uh, form of work salvation. And then when you say that we don't need, that we can't lose our salvation, what you're saying is we don't need any more saving, we don't need Jesus as a Savior. And those of us that believe that we can forfeit our faith and our salvation, we believe that we still need salvation, we still need Jesus Christ to save us. So these people that say once saved, always saved, accuse you of work salvation, but the reality is it's the opposite. And, and, you know, like I already said before, I'm not here for fame. Um, I'm not here to talk about myself. I'm here to glorify God. And, you know, I have about 16 subscribers. I don't have a whole lot of uh, subscribers. Uh, I don't get a whole lot of likes on my videos, and that's perfectly fine with me, and that's okay, because I never came on here uh, to get to, to get a lot of likes and subscribers. That, that was never my purpose uh, for that. I'm just here... Um, to, uh, like I already said, to, to talk about Jesus Christ, talk about his death, burial, and resurrection, and the gospel. Uh, but if you want to subscribe to my channel, and if you like my videos, well, praise the Lord. I hope it gets you saved, and uh, that's because that's the goal of what I'm trying to do. But that's not the purpose of why I'm here. I'm not, I'm not here for the purpose of getting subscribers. And I've been having some people, you know, I just, uh, I'm, I'm relatively new to the YouTube world and, uh, and you know, I don't, I'm not a very big YouTuber. I just, you know, I do some videos, uh, and I've been on, and like I already said, I've been here for about two years and, you know, I'm already getting people that have been saying that they want to do videos exposing me. Uh, well, you know, uh, if you want to go in and do a video, then uh, you go right on ahead uh, if you want to do a video about me because, you know, that would not be a very smart uh, decision on your part. Uh, because, first of all, if you consider me a false teacher, um, well, then uh, you're going to be leading people to my channel. And you're going to make me more known. Because um, I'm not a very known uh, YouTuber. Uh, 
like I said, I have a very small, very small uh, following of subscribers. Um, only a couple of subscriptions. Uh, you're going to make me more known, and you're going to lead people to who you believe is a false teacher. Uh, so that wouldn't be a very smart decision on your part. But hey, if you want to do it, then I would actually be very happy for you to do that. Uh, because you'll give people a chance to hear the gospel and get saved, uh, so you can go right on ahead. Um, now that now that all that's all out of the way, there's a couple other uh, things I'd like to talk about, and that's the direction of my channel. Um, this channel has gone through a number of changes over the years. Um, way way back, probably about. Uh, give or take about six years ago, almost seven years ago now. Um, this was just a channel where, uh, you know, I would, I would watch some videos. It was basically my very first YouTube account. Um, and I got an older video I made back in 2012, but I have that on private so people can't see it because it's not really anything of, of value or of value of faith or anything. Um, but uh but that was what i was on the channel for that's all it was um so then i reactivated my account on here and uh that's when i started to make a couple of vlogs and videos that was back in 2017. um so that's the purpose of that and now i've made i've turned this into my official uh ministry channel where i come on here and i I talk about what the Bible says, and I rebuke sin, and I rebuke false teachings. Um, um, well, uh, I'm actually planning to do a couple of changes to that, a little bit of modification. Um, it'll still be, obviously, one of my ministry channels, but uh, in the Lord willing, I plan to be making this into a, just a preaching channel where I'm uh, uploading videos of me uh, going out and preaching and doing open air and all that kind of stuff. Um, but here's the problem though, uh, I'm not going to make any guarantees of that, uh, because I tried to make a new channel, uh, but you know, YouTube is kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time on it and I can't make uh, really long videos on it. So that's why I've made this my temporal, uh, ministry channel. And my, and this will stay as my ministry channel until I manage to, uh, make a new channel and I don't know when that's going to be and I can't even promise I'm going to be able to do that so I will this will be my ministry channel until I figure out how to get another channel on here and if I'm successful with that uh, that the new channel will be my uh, ministry channel but if I'm not successful with that then this will be my ministry channel so so it could be either way, it kind of depends, uh, and Lord willing. Um, so, I just wanted to go, uh, go over that. Now in upcoming months, and in, in, in the year 2020, I'm going to be making some new content, some new videos. I'm going to be talking about the holidays, doing some videos on that. I'll be covering other issues. I'm going to be doing a video about Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas and New Year's and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on those holidays, Lord willing, as time goes on. And uh, I'm just going to be sharing my insight and thoughts about my opinion concerning those uh, holidays. And I'm going to present what I believe the Bible says on those issues as well. Um... And I'm also going to be uploading some videos uh, talking about some more issues. I'm going to continue my Bible history uh, playlist. And, uh, you know, I haven't really gotten a whole lot of views on those videos, but I would definitely encourage you to check those out. It, it's really helpful in learning the history of the Bible. Um, it's from an evangelistic perspective. I'm going to be talking about uh, why, I, why the Bible is a picture of the gospel of Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection. And, uh, and hopefully that will get people saved as well. Um, right now I'm on, uh, Jacob and, uh, that will be my next video on Bible history and Lord willing, I'll, I'll be trying to get that on there 
on here on this channel as well. I'll be talking about some more false teachers. Um, and, you know, I'm going to continue some guys in the hyper grace movement, but I'm also going to be uh, shifting uh, gears a little bit. And I'm going to be looking at some also false teachers that are found within what people call the holiness uh, community. But really, what when you look at what they're teaching, it's not holy at all. Um, but they act, they sure act like they do because they're wolves in sheep's clothing. And I'll be doing some uh, talking about some errors found in their teachings. Um, and then I'm going to be doing a video that just about the hyper grace movement in general and some issues with that. And I'll also be talking about uh, atheism, Lord willing, uh, when I get to that topic. Also, I got a couple of videos I'm working on. Uh, one of them is about homosexuality. The other one is about annihilationism. Um, so I'm going to, I got that I'm working on, and Lord willing, I'll be trying to get that uh, uploaded here on this channel. And one last thing that I would like to uh, say before I uh, end this video, that I will be taking a uh, brief break off of YouTube for a while here soon. I'm not going to be taking it just yet, uh, but Lord willing, I plan on it to be off of here for a little bit. Um, I just need to focus on my personal walk and my spiritual walk with the Lord. I don't want to be on YouTube too much. Uh, I just need to get a breather. Um... So I'm, I'm not going to be uploading uh, videos for a while. Uh, I'm not taking a break yet. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on YouTube doing a few more videos. Uh, but after that, I'm going to be out. And I hope and I should be back on uh, YouTube definitely uh, by at least the end of November, maybe before that, uh, where I'm going to be doing a video about Thanksgiving. Um, so that's all I got. And... Uh, I hope uh, my video has been a blessing to you, and uh, 